Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do the daily vibes for around the, I don't know, 6th, 7th, something like that. Timing is fluid, okay? So this could happen at any time, all right? Again, this reading may or may not be for you. This reading is not sign specific and it is not time specific. These daily vibes are timeless. You can go back through the daily vibe playlist and pick one that your mind's eye says is the one and I guarantee you that one will be the one for you. So anyway, uh, what do we have for a message today? For the upcoming energy. Six of Pentacles reversed and the Ten of Swords reversed. So this is not receiving one-sided relationships. Somebody isn't receiving what they aren't getting what they deserve. There's one-sidedness. Somebody's, you know, getting crumbs. They're not getting what they deserve. Ten of Swords reversed. This is like the end. It's a, it's a it's very painful suffering. Um... This is taking away. This is taking away. Somebody is taking away something. This is things getting worse. Okay, with the Ten of Swords reversed. This is somebody that is beyond help. They won't accept help either. Some, somebody that is beyond help that has reached rock bottom that will not accept help won't ask for help interesting there's some sort of abuse of power here as well with the six of pentacles reversed interesting now this isn't fair there's a lack of justice there's some sort of injustice there's inequality now the Ten of Swords reversed. This is a seriously painful situation. Extremely painful. Blocked communication. Jealousy issues. Feeling guilty. We have somebody here that is in a lot of pain that because they have been blocked. Because there's no communication. They're suffering. Very, very much so. And they're not... It, it's like... There's some sort of abuse with that Six of Pentacles reversed. Maybe some sort of domination here. Not able to accept any advice, not seeking any advice, not accepting any help, and a lot of pain, no communication, being blocked, no victory, no success, no able to make any moves, can't make any moves, and it's getting worse. Things are getting worse because there's no communication. There's no reciprocation. Because somebody's not getting any attention, their mind is getting worse because swords are mind. Their thoughts are getting worse and worse and worse because they're not getting any reciprocation from somebody. Okay, so things are getting worse. Eight of Swords. This is mental turmoil. We got somebody who is really, really in a bad state of mind okay their state of mind is not healthy um uh, extremely uh i think confused we got somebody here that is confused they're trapped they're trapped in their thoughts and it's going their thoughts are really really eating them um there's some sort of restraint. They're restricted. They're restricted from communicating because they've been blocked. Or they there could be, I don't know, maybe there's a restraining order. Or I don't know what it is. Somebody has been blocked from communication. And they're stuck where they're at because this is stuck, trapped. 
It's like they can break free from their own thoughts, but they're choosing not to. Somebody is choosing to allow themselves to go down the wrong path or to stay in a situation. It's their choice. Somebody is choosing. And they it's like they just can't communicate. They want to communicate, but they can't. They can't communicate. For some reason. Could be some sort of fear with that eight of swords. We have somebody that is feeling empty inside or dead inside because there's no communication. This is extremely painful. A lot of suffering. Now this is a reevaluation that is needed. Somebody is, is reevaluating right now. Death. Death. Now death is an ending, right? It's a profound change. Death is a separation. It is a loss. That leads to a new beginning. So somebody is, and this is thinking. They're thinking about, I don't know what they're thinking about, but it doesn't look good. Um, they're thinking about ending something. Okay, then now this is the end. It's the end of not receiving. Okay, it's the end of being trapped. Okay, something is coming to an end. The end of being tied to a situation. It is the end. Okay, this is like a, this is like a death as well. So something is is definitely coming to an end. It doesn't end in victory. Just saying, it doesn't. There's no communication going on. So we have somebody that is in despair. This is some sort of ending. It is. Now this is be careful. Hold up. Be careful. Your thoughts become things. What you own, owns you. Think about this for a minute. And somebody is really thinking about their options. They really are really, 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 really thinking. They're really thinking. They got, other, they got a lot of options and they're thinking about what they should do. So we definitely have somebody that is, is thinking about... A new beginning, right? They're thinking about ending something. They're thinking about what they want. So there's a lot of thoughts, definitely. And we have somebody here that is, it doesn't look like they're in a very good mindset. I just have to tell you, it doesn't look like this person is uh, receiving any attention or receiving any sort of help from anybody. And so that's why they're in a state of mental turmoil. So... It's like now they have some sort of options and they're trying to think of what they should do next. What should I do next? Um, so they're exploring their options. Um, there, there's consequences. This is a card of consequences. They're thinking about the consequences. What will the consequences be if I step outside of my comfort zone? If I speak up? If I do something. Somebody is definitely thinking about the consequences. What will happen if I take action? So definitely somebody is thinking about the consequences. Five of Pentacles reversed. Now this is a lot of, uh, well, we have an unhealthy relationship. This is a major loss. It's a major loss, but there is a turning point ahead. It's, it's the, there's an opportunity to come off this thin ice and ask for help. But we have somebody here that is choosing to, uh, it's almost like they're drowning. You know, they're, they're choosing to be, take risks. They're choosing to, uh, they're definitely choosing something that is risky. Somebody is, is definitely taking a risk. But anyhow, um, there's been some sort of neglect. Somebody feels neglected. They feel abandoned. Uh, they're feeling very, very, very alone. 
Um, they're feeling empty and lost and they're feeling, it feels like they're, they may feel like they're, there's no reason to, to go on. I'm just being honest with you. Um, anyhow, somebody is exploring their options. They're thinking about, you know, what their next step should be. Um, five of pentacles reverse. Now that is total ruin of some sort. There's some sort of uh, security issue. Somebody is on some real thin ice. But there's improvements that can be, there could be some improvements if somebody would stop putting themselves in that situation. Somebody allows themselves to get in situations because of their poor choices. But they don't want to take ownership for their choices. But anyhow, um... Now there's some sort of blocked, being blocked. No contact. Lovers, unexpected choice, consequences again. Knight of Cups. Somebody is looking for a relationship, whether it's a love relationship or whatever it is. Somebody is definitely wanting a relationship. They want to. They want a relationship. They're looking for relationship growth. They're looking for love. They're looking looking to be taken care of. So this person is feeling empty inside and they're looking for a relationship. Well, I don't know what kind of relationship they're looking for, but there is going to be an, uh, an expression of feelings, okay? I think, I think that somebody is going to express their feelings. There's consequences here. You've got to be careful. Somebody, now I'm changing the story a little bit. Somebody may have been blocked or they did not communicate. They haven't communicated for some time. Somebody may have thought that it was over. Okay, with that Ten of Swords reversed. They may have thought that it was done. But that's something coming back from the dead. It's not over. It's not over. So I feel like... I feel like there's been a lack of reciprocation. Somebody has been stuck in their thoughts. They were thinking about their options. They were exploring their options. They were taking risks. Uh, they were trapped in their own uh, prison, refusing to honor their heart. Somebody is going to be following their heart into a new situation by the looks of things. I mean, that's what it looks like to me. This person has been fearful, very fearful, fearful of getting into a relationship, really. Fearful of a new beginning, fearful of putting in any effort in reciprocating because of the pain that the last one left them in. So it does make sense. So anyway, I think that, I think that, uh, there's an unexpected offer coming in, an unexpected connection, an unexpected uh, opportunity for a relationship here with somebody that where there's been no communication. It's like the, all of a sudden there's an opportunity. There's all all of a sudden there's an opportunity to uh, come together something like that um with that knight of cups and the lovers card that's an unexpected choice in love now this is this is an individual right here that is going to be in mental turmoil you know do i want it or not do i is this safe is this safe you know is it really is this safe so we have somebody that is probably fearful of letting somebody in because of the pain that's extremely painful that they were in before. That's why they don't want to reciprocate. They don't want to be in a relationship. But there's an unexpected opportunity for love with somebody that is a perfect match. Because this is a perfect match. A lover is a perfect match. This is like somebody that you have a lot in common with. There's a lot of uh, synchronicities. You know, it's just, it's just perfect. So there's an opportunity. It's like Cupid's arrow is bringing two people together that are meant to be. But it's not. 
it's it's unexpected it's not what you asked for right you didn't you didn't you weren't looking for it but here it is you know it happened all of a sudden it was spontaneous you know um so yeah there's some sort of spontaneous opportunity for love here that comes out of nowhere and I feel like um, you're gonna, somebody's gonna have to really think about their options. You know, do you want a new beginning or do you want to continue to play it safe? Because playing it safe, this is playing it safe. So somebody has been playing it safe. You're in a happily ever after relationship. You or your partner may have an unexpected opportunity for love with somebody that you did not expect. Somebody is being flirted with, okay? There's flirting going on. There's there's romancing going on, okay? Somebody is going to be acting on their feelings. There's a deep connection here. Acting on feelings, deep connection. So somebody is going to be, you know, acting on their feelings. And I think there's been a there's been a no communication or blocked communication or something and that may have happened because of ghosting the five of pentacles is ghosting abandonment whatever but i feel like we have a turning point here as well like this is like a turning point somebody's starting to see improvements starting to see that this is a good option so i think that somebody's going to be exploring their options because of maybe some sort of uh unexpected I don't know, communication. Um, anyhow, um, so yeah. I think there's an offer or an invite that is coming in. Somebody may get invited to go somewhere. They may be in, invited, I don't know, there's an invite with that Knight of Cups. Um, and they, they could certainly fall in love. I mean, this is like falling in love, so be careful be really I mean all I gotta say is be careful about that shit anyhow um I'd rather just play it safe that's me so I don't know about you but um the death card is a new beginning okay it is a new beginning endings lead to new beginnings there's an opportunity this is a profound change it really is but you know, there's 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 options here, and you, and there's a need to really think about the options. You wanna you wanna take this risk, or do you wanna play it safe? That's the question here. Three of Cups reverse. <laughs> yeah, it's better to just play it safe. Three of Cups reverse. That is uh, women. Okay, it's women. It's uh, third party interference. Okay, the Three of Cups reverse. It's bitchy women. It's enemies disguised as friends. It's competitiveness. It's parting ways. Somebody may have parted ways from a third party, you know, and now they see another person as a viable option. Okay, so there's definitely somebody that is exploring their options. Maybe they were cheated on by somebody and now, you know, that's been the story as of yet. I feel like somebody is coming back around. Okay, I feel like somebody is coming back around that um, has not been communicating. Okay, this person has not been communicating. Uh, they may have gotten themselves into some trouble with a third party or something like that. And now that's over. I feel that's over now. And now they, they may be wanting to... Uh, I don't know. I feel like it's reconnect. Reconnect with a soulmate. I feel like it's a soulmate connection. I do. I do feel like it's a soulmate connection. And I think that it's a deep one. I do think it's a deep one. I feel like uh, there's a lot of fear of giving to it. There's there's a lot of fear of giving to the to the situation. But we do have somebody that is about to take action. Now this is the boss. This is a masculine energy who takes control, takes charge. This person seems rigid, seems distant, shows no weakness, but deep down has a big heart. So I feel like we have somebody that um, 
is very experienced. I feel like this person is ready to settle down. They have their eye on somebody. I feel like this masculine has their eye on somebody. They've been waiting, waiting for the perfect moment or waiting for the right one, waiting for an empress. But I do feel like they played. I feel like this person played. But I think they feel like they're done playing. This guy is going to take control. This is an alpha. It's an alpha male. Aries, Taurus, Capricorn. Could be anybody. Um, <laughs> this guy is given to take action. He is the boss. He's going to take charge because he sees that there is a connection that he wants. Anyway. He may have a hard time though because whoever, whoever he is probably trying to communicate with is probably pushing him away. Out of fear. Um, anyway, there's an offer of love coming in. It's a, it's 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 a perfect match. But you may not want it. Good luck.